welcome back. We are killing it here with all of these amazing makeup artists. We're here at IMATS Live in New York. We have the fabulous Ricky Wilson here, hey. such a fan. This gentleman is a huge celebrity makeup artist, does so many celebrity clients, he's been in every magazine. I mean, you name it, he's <laughs> done it. Also was, or is still in art with Dior, right. known for being with Dior forever mm -hmm. as one of their celebrity makeup artists. Very yeah. famous, it's an honor to be speaking with you. Thank you, thank you for having me. And our beautiful model, who's also named Robin. <laughs> and as you can see, Ricky just did a demonstration on her on the main stage. Gorgeous, gorgeous makeup. I would kill to have you do my makeup someday. <laughs> I would love to. Oh my God. <laughs> So tell me a little bit, I don't even know where to start. I know, there's like <laughs> so much. Well, you know, you're known basically for giving your clients, all your celebrity clients, gorgeous skin, whether they have gorgeous skin or not. Right. And really kind of transforming that whole no makeup, makeup look that right. we do in Hollywood. I mean, that's mm -hmm. such a popular thing right now is the no makeup, makeup look. Yeah. Um, how did you come about to do that? And also, can you tell us a few of your celebrity clients real uh, quick, too? Sure. Um, I've worked with Sharon Stone, Emmy Rossum, Joy Bryant, Aisha Tyler, Maria Menounos, gosh, Mary J. Blige. All skin else? tones. All Everyone. Yes. Jane Lynch, I've done. I've done a host, a host of people. Yeah. And I feel like the current trend in Hollywood now is I want you to do my makeup. I have skin variations. I've never, I never sleep and I want to look rested, and I want to look like I have no makeup on, so. Yeah, because of HD, <laughs> right. more women want to look like they have no makeup on. Yes, and, and they need the makeup, you know, so it was a very uh, difficult learning curve for me because I felt like, okay, I'm a makeup artist that was trained to conceal, conceal, correct, and cover. Like back in the 80s, kind right. of what we were, in 90s. Very heavy makeup. Yes. And it was hard for me to kind of learn how to take the same techniques and the same application but just scale back and I find that it's worked with me it's worked for me so much better because the makeup doesn't move like if you put a lot of makeup on the face and you send somebody on a carpet they're gonna be in broad daylight because carpet starts at three yeah they're gonna go into the venue they're gonna be in overhead lighting they're gonna sit there for about two hours and if it's not a live show which most aren't they're gonna be there for three hours because they keep redoing things and they have no time to get out of their chair and come back unless they're presenting or unless they're winning an award. Mm -hmm. That's the only time, Ooh, did I just give that up? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, that. So unless they're presenting, that's the only time that they can go backstage and they continue to have the pan of the camera and you need to make sure that they look good. Right. So I don't do like tons of heavy highlighting contour because sometimes if it comes to overhead lighting, what happens if you have a heavy contour, it makes the face look very skeletal, you know, and they don't look as plump and fresh as they could be. So, did you hear that? He's not doing a lot of heavy highlight and contour. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Thank you. The contour demons. Seriously, <laughs> enough people. I think it's enough. just gotten out of, it's gotten out of hand. <laughs> it's it really way is. out of hand. <laughs> it's like. <laughs> oh, the stories. Yeah. But so how, what are your tricks to scale back on the heavy concealing um, and heavy foundations, but still give that smooth appearance, flawless appearance with a lighter makeup? How do you, how do you do that? I always say that the more skincare you use, the less makeup you have to. Mm -hmm. And it was really the partnership with Dior because they're so big on skincare. You know, a lot of French brands are so big on skincare. Yeah, and before, are. when I was working at MAC, I was just big on makeup. But I realized that if you get the skin to look and feel a certain way, the skincare makes the face look very healthy. So you don't have to use a ton of makeup. If you use something that's like a liquid glow product underneath or something that has like a little SPF, you're gonna get a nice glow so that when you get to the foundation, you don't have to use as much foundation. Okay. So I'm all about putting a lot of skincare on and a lot less makeup. Right, right. And underneath the eyes, like brightening up underneath the eyes, sometimes I mix like a, a glowing product and an eye cream together, put it underneath the eyes. And there's been plenty of times that I've sent clients down on the carpet with that little skincare concoction and they have no concealer on. No way. Yeah. Amazing. It's like, you know what? I always train makeup artists to say if you don't need it, you don't apply it. So if you look yes, at someone that's a great way to say that. and they don't need concealer, then don't, do it. don't have that automatic, I need to pick up concealer, yes. I need to pick up lashes, I need to pick up three brow products if their brows are perfect, you know? So yeah. just making sure that you keep in mind that. 
And powder or no powder? I do powder, but uh, I just got this new uh, powderless powder from Eve Pearl that I've been obsessed with. Isn't it great? I have it on now. We were just yes. talking about that two seconds ago with yeah. Kevin. It's absolutely It's a good great product. Yeah. And this is what I used here. You don't want the, so the skin cool. to look super matte, but you still want it to be demi matte, but at the same time, you don't want it to look oily. And I think that there's a big yeah. difference between an oil and a glow. Mm -hmm. And I mean, look, every time JLo hits that red carpet, she is glowing from head to toe. Yes, she is. And she never looks matte. She never looks dry. Right. I feel like a lot of times if the skin looks too matte, it makes the client look older. Absolutely it does. And what is this foundation? The foundation that I use is a little concoction. I have a little bit of Dior BB cream and I mixed in some of the Armani uh, fluid silk. So, yeah. It's so beautiful. Nice. And, the and you blush. can touch it. You can touch it. Uh, the blush we used uh, Makeup Forever uh, HD cream blush and okay. then we also did a Dior to set it and the Dior is number 943 and we did a light sculpting with a MAC uh, sculpting product oh, from Mac Pro. Light sculpt. That's just so beautiful. What my gosh, what an amazing you. artist you are. Thank I you. Hate, so I know much. you have to go do a signing. Oh. <laughs> so that must be more important than us and we have to no. let you go. But will you come back sometime? I will. I'd love I will. to talk with you more and pick your brain. I will. Thank you so much for having Thank me. Thank you so much for stopping Thanks. by. It's so great to meet you all. Nice meeting you as well. <laughs> and we'll be back.